Hello everyone, welcome to the newest episode of Cooking with Chris. Today we're making something special, a cheese omelette. Um, now I decided to make things a little easier for you guys, and I'm, from now on I'm going to put the ingredients for every meal, uh, every episode. So today we need four eggs, three cheese, one ketchup, and that's it, and that's it. And, and so, um, so we'll just go to the kitchen over here and we'll, we'll check, check out what, I, what we got. So like I said, we're gonna need four eggs. Um, maybe, you probably don't even need four eggs. I'm just gonna go with two for now because I don't wanna be wasteful because mom might get angry. And so we're just gonna take two eggs and, well, let's make sure we have, we have the cheese, we have the eggs, and we have the tomatoes. Uh, we're not doing tomato, we're just gonna ketchup. Like I said before, I said ketchup, I just thought it was tomato sauce, because that's what they do in the movies, but this is real life, so we're just gonna use ketchup, and it's over here. So, take the egg, make sure it's, there's a little bit of a, some cracking, actually, so we're just gonna leave that for someone else to make that mistake, and we're gonna take the first egg, and of course we want to set the oven, the, uh, the, the cooking, what is this one? I'm gonna set the cooking up to a uh, seven, like like in the movies, and then we're just gonna do a quick. It's gonna be really hard with one hand. We're gonna go. It's gonna go, and then and then we're gonna break. Um, I don't break a lot of eggs, but I mean, you know, this this seems about right. It's kind of yeah. There we go. All right. I'm not actually sure where the cheese comes into play. I think that we just kind of keep, put the cheese, I don't know, but we'll try it anyway. Oh, this one, pretty easy to crack when we just take it and we... I guess we just, it's kind of, kind of rough going. Hey, there we go, that's, all right. Uh, and then we can just, you know, throw away your, your eggs and your eggshells and... Alright, now, in an omelette, see, they don't have, like, the egg boil things, you know? They just have, like, the, the egg nest, so... We're gonna take our, uh, spatula? We're gonna take our spatula and we're just gonna kinda put them together, you know? I think this is right. Yeah, that looks good. I'll just leave that like that for a bit. And while we're doing that, we're gonna get the side dish. Now with my omelet, everyone likes to have a little, you know, it's like a breakfast. We're having, having breakfast for lunch today. So we're actually gonna take some frozen chicken nuggets. And we're gonna, and we're gonna cook them. Uh, so, we just, we'll go ahead and use the uh, microwave, um, you know, in the interest of time. Um, so, we just place, you know, some nuggets on a hot, uncovered plate for, um, for one and a half minutes. So, we'll get a plate here, and we're just going to take it. We're gonna open it with one hand. Now, if you're at home, you can actually use two hands for this, but uh, I prefer to use one so I can keep you in the end of the action. All right. After I, I successfully managed to do that with one hand, well, this, that's cool. That's cool. Frozen. That's, that's, I guess you say that's frozen in there. Uh, haha. Take the nuggets. Put them there, and then put this away for safekeeping. Oh, it feels really gross to the to the touch. Okay. But that should be good. And I will check our omelet. Um, it's cooking, and this is the scary part because I don't know when I'm supposed to flip it. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, yeah, flip it. Jeez. Uh, 
Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh no. Oh beautiful. Perfectly, masterfully done. That's just kind of a big egg, isn't it? Okay, so we'll get the cheese, I guess. And I mean, I know, uh, sir. Um, and let's put the let's put the cheese. Get a, get a couple. You don't need to actually use three cheese. It's you know, it's a cheese omelet, but you can use however much you want. Um, well, let's go with like you know one cheese for today. You know, I don't want to get I don't want to get the cheese touch. So we'll just come over here, we'll put it, and then we want to actually wrap up the cheese with the egg. Like in the movies. I, oh, we should put some salt on it too. So that's, that's not where the salt is. Uh, if I was mom, where would I put the salt? I don't want to burn, okay, we're just going to stop cooking the egg, and then we're going to try to find some salt. It's over here. Alright. So let's take some salt. I like to get a pinch of salt because uh, that's the perfect amount, I guess. And we're gonna warm up our chicken nuggets finally. Um, as you can see, these are frozen themed. So I'll just run you past the other one. So you see, we have the heart because, uh, not to spoil anything, but um, Elsa uh, gets her heart broken. And we have um, a starfish because it was made by Disney. And it was a rocket ship because they own Star Wars. Uh, so I'm just going to put these in here. And we're going to um, uh, Here's a fun fact um, uh, 60 seconds um, is the same as 100 seconds if you're a microwave. And I, th I think that's great. So it, has, it says 90 seconds. 90 seconds and we'll start. That's too many seconds. We'll come back when it feels right. And so this is all, this is all but, this is cheese now. It's all cheese omelette, so. Just gonna wrap it up. And that's how you make a cheese omelette, everyone. Um, I actually can't put it on, I'm just gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm just gonna hold it, I guess until the chicken nuggets are done and then we can put it all together. So, are you guys having a good day? Um, I'm having, I've been playing a lot of Horse Isle lately. And not, I'm not sponsored by Horse Isle, but Horse Isle is a game where you, you uh, play as a girl and you get the horses. You can actually play as a boy, but that's not as cool because boys don't ride horses. That's what my dad told me. Um, and that's why I can't ride horses anymore. And I think it's been a minute, so we're just gonna... Well, let's just check them. Alright, they could, they could do with a bit more warming. Uh, <laughs> I bet, I bet if we, uh... If we let, um... Uh, the, the girl from Frozen touch it, then it wouldn't be frozen. I don't know. I, I don't know what was in here, but we're just gonna put the... I'm gonna put the eggs in here so they don't get any any warmer, you know? Just gonna, just gonna grab the Yes. Check. Is this good, do you think? Oh no, that's an unfrozen chicken nugget back right there. That's what I call not frozen. So we got the omelet. We'll give some space to these. Oh, oh careful. Oh. And we'll get this and Finally, to top off the whole arrangement, we're gonna go get the ketchup. Now ketchup is my favorite topping because um, when I was a little boy, I didn't have a lot, but I had a lot of ketchup. Because my dad well, used to work for Heinz um, until he got fired for stealing all the ketchup. So. So I had a lot of Heinz growing up, and this is a new bottle of Heinz. And they do this cool thing where they have a they cover the top with plastic to, you know, make it harder to steal uh, when you're working there. 
is almost perfect. And we'll just put it back on there. Alright, and then put this decorate the you know, think of it as like a fancy meal, so what's fancier than ketchup? I don't know. Probably nothing. And we keep ketchup in the fridge uh, because e even the outdoors is too hot for ketchup here in Texas. And we'll put away everything else because that's what you do when you're eco-friendly. Uh, I kind of got this cheese all germy, but that's okay because I usually don't eat this cheese. So, it's not my problem. Now, um, you know me? What do you say when you see uh, food as good as this? You say, uh, holy cow. You know what comes from cows? Milk, everybody. So today we're gonna have a nice milk side to our egg and cheese omelet. And I know what you're thinking, cause that's a lot of dairy. Well, mm-mm, mm-mm, no such thing. No such thing. That's too much dairy, okay? I'm just gonna take our milk and Put it in there and it's good. Good, good. Yeah, yummy. Mm, deli oh, it's so good. Delicious. Great, great food. Delicious news on that food. Yeah, thank you. I think it's good too. And so, let's take our creations over to the studio, and we're gonna we're gonna try out. Don't look at that. We're gonna try out our new meal. Heidi Ho, y'all. Well, let's try out our creation, and I think I'm going to do something a little different this time. Today, I'm going to do a question and answer section. In fact, every episode from now on will have one of these. So, in the comments, give me a question. I'll answer it. <laughs> First question comes from um, DF3521. He asks, Christopher, that's me. Why did I start cooking with Chris? I'll tell you. While I eat my food. People say, you know, it's rude to, you know, eat while you talk, but I don't care. I'll look at this uh, mm. 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 You know what? Let's just say it's going to be sad to let this meal go. Um, why did I start cooking with Chris? Well, earlier, around when summer started, my mom, uh, she went up to me, she said, Christopher, she said, yes, mom, she said, she said, Christopher, you need to do something with your life. You can't just sit around thinking, oh, uh, you're gonna win the lottery. No, you're not gonna win the lottery. You're a baby! She said you should start a show. Uh, how about, how about, how about, said, Lunch with Chris. I said that's a horrible name. Because it's not an alliteration. And she, and, and I was like, okay, cooking, I see where you're going with it. She says, you know, we can record it and uh, maybe have like a Bible verse uh, halfway through. And I said, I don't know about that. I don't want to attract the wrong crowd. Um, and she said, uh, well, I don't care, mister. Uh, and I didn't do it for a while, but then a week ago I had a anxiety. I've been having nightmares about how I'll just like never amount to anything. And so I realized I can start something today. So I started cooking with Chris and, and I haven't looked back. I'm very proud of, of what I've accomplished and I'm very glad that I, I started this. And I'm, I'm thankful for all of you for watching Cooking with Chris. Thank you. So let's eat some of them. This is the omelet part with the cheese. Hopefully this tastes good. Um, I didn't look up a recipe, I just, just kind of did it, so, you know. It was a first time for most things, you know. Um, our next question also comes from DF3521 because he's the only person that talks to me anymore. Um, how did I get the idea for the first meal, uh, spaghetti and milk? Well, you know what? I've always been a fan of spaghetti, and the initial episode was to be, you know, 
for the college kids, you know, like you're in college, what do you, what's cheap and easy to make? Spaghetti. So, I made, um, I, I went to, um, mm, 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 mm. So I have like this, you know, huge collection of ramen noodles. Uh, uh, and, and, and so I just took some and, you know, one thing led to another and, I've been making that recipe for a long time. I've never made one of these before, like I said. But that was one that I've, you know, done many times and I knew would, would go right. So, you know. Yeah. Well. This meal has been fantastic. If you enjoyed watching me eat this, or making it even, uh, be sure to subscribe, um, like this video. Um, it really helps me out. <laughs> um... And, uh, as always, um, thanks for watching, and have a great lunch.